So for this problem, I'm asked to do two things. I'm asked to find a five number summary, and I'm also asked to make a box plot. So the very first thing I should do is double check my list is in order, 12 is small, 24. Okay, there's some repeats, but yeah, I've decided that my list is in order, because if not, I'd want to start by doing that. So now I'm ready to start by finding the five number summary, because you can't actually draw the box plot until you have that. First thing, the minimum. I look through the list, it's 12, not too hard. Next, I need to find Q1, where first the formula gives me the location of where Q1 would be found. So I take 25 times the number of numbers in the list, and it counts up to 10, and divide by 100, always divide by 100, and in this case, I get 2.5. Now remember, 2.5 can't be my answer because a five number summary, the, by the nature of what the five numbers are, each entry will always be the same or larger. 2.5 is not larger than 12, so that's a little bit of a hint that that's not my answer. And the formula I just used gives me a location, not the actual final answer. Since I got 2.5 and it's a decimal, remember I have to bump to the next whole number, which is three, and I need the third entry in the list, and as I count across, I find that it's 24. The second number in my five number summary is 24. And I repeat this process. For Q2, I want 50% of the way through a 10 item list, which would be the fifth number. But remember, when you get a whole number, I need to average that location and the next location. So I need to go find the fifth and sixth entry and average those two values, so 25 and 27, you might not even need to do the math. You might just be able to see that 26 was the average. For Q3, three quarters, 75 cents, I take the formula and get 7.5, again, this time a decimal. So I bump to the next whole number, which is the eighth entry. And as I count across the list, it needs to be a 26 or higher. And yeah, it happens to be 30. And then the max, if my list is in order, is super easy to find. It's just the last number. So I've done all the work, and now I can go ahead and answer my 12 number summary, the 12, 24, 26, and 31. Part one of my question is done. Now the next thing I need to do is create my box plot. As I look at it, my five number summary is gonna be from 12 to 31. That means I need a number line that goes from 12 to 31. And since a number line's not given, I have to make one up. I've decided to go by twos, just so I don't have to draw as many. Going by fives may not be a good idea because it might be really hard to figure out where a lot of the numbers go. So as I go to draw my number line, I, you know, start a little bit before 12, going by twos, and pick something easy. I mean, I didn't pick 11, I picked 10. And I went across and drew my number line, and 12 and all the way through 31 is included. So if you remember, I draw a line for the minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, the max, and then make a box in the middle and draw the arms out. And now I have my box plot. Both parts of the question have been answered.